All right, so this is the uh, part where I'm going to show you how to uh, how to and where to put your uh, audio files for your IC station uh, MP3 um, player. So um, I already did it, so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, just kind of um, erase this and show you where to put this here um, in case you're doing it from scratch. So on your SD card when you're putting it in your Mac, and I'm actually on an old version of this Mac, really old version because I like all the, um, the applications that are uh, connected with this operating system, which is 10.12.6, and it's uh, November 6th, 2022 at the time of this video recording. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you how this is done. Uh, just go ahead and click on your uh, your SD card. In my case, um, it is the SDXC Reader Media. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and erase that. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and pick from the drop-down MS-DOS FAT. All right. And um, I'm going to go ahead and replace Untitled with zero one and keep master boot record um, and okay and uh, it's done as you can see it's already labeled as zero one and as you can see right here zero one and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually right click and add a new folder and also call this or name this zero one and I'm going to actually take my uh, sound effects, which is basically turkey sound effects, and uh, add them into uh, the MP3 files, which is 001 and also 002. Okay, it's got to be the MP3, or it could be a wave, but it's got to be one of one of the two, and it's got to be named 001 or 002. Okay, and that should be able to make the sound effect react with the IC station mp3 player which I'll show you <clears throat> alright guys so here's the SD card that I just actually put the files on um, that was labeled uh, uh, 001 and 002 um, I did two files just so that I can uh, demo out exactly what I'm talking about here uh, far, sorry for all the wires and stuff, but there is method to my madness here. But I just wanted to show you, um, here's the actual um, IC Station MP3 player. Um, now I actually had an old, uh, I, I salvaged this from an actual like uh, uh, flat screen um, uh, TV. And um, it obviously had the actual like plastic connectors to the actual like uh, electrodes here where you can actually just plug into the uh, sockets here the post um, but it also does come with a 16 inch jack as well here um, which I actually modified another speaker here that I'll demo here but you can actually either solder onto the the actual legs the terminal legs here um, or you can actually buy these little connectors here for the wires here but again luckily these actually came um, already installed onto them, so um, I using full advantage of it, and um, um, I hooked it up to a limiter switch here, um, which actually will trigger the actual sound effect. And uh, this right here is actually to the five volts, um, which I actually had a five volt power supply. And um, yeah, let's just do this. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and put this into the SD card slot right here. Um, and uh, I'll plug it in. Okay, as you can see, the little red light is flickering here. And um, yeah, I soldered it to terminal A1 post. So it's actually going to play the first one. Okay. The cool thing about this is, uh, is that you can actually do volume control here. I'll just go very low volume. <laughs> or you can actually go really, really loud, depending on how you edit your sound effect. 
this is actually a pretty dang good speaker here. But um, but the number two is actually hooked into uh, the number two post, which is actually this one right here. And all it needs is to draw from the, 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 the ground to the actual post here. And now since I didn't hook up a, a limiter switch, I'm going to actually use this wire to actually make a connection to show you uh, number two. Yeah, and that was number two. And this is number one. So um, if you wanted to hook up, you know, a bunch of switches all the way to eight, I think it gives you eight options. You can have eight different sound effects. But yeah, I'm doing this fun little Thanksgiving turkey sound effect uh, device for my work. So I just wanted to show you how this thing worked. This is a mono uh, speaker that I got from, well, just the mono jack. I'm sure you can get a fine stereo, but, uh, well, actually, this is mono. But I actually pulled this from another flat screen, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in and try it um, as well. Okay, much quieter. Uh, see here, just volume all the way up. Volume all the way up. Okay, so that's not very loud at all. Okay, uh, well, <laughs> this one obviously is way louder because um, I don't—I'm not sure if that's plugged into the amp, the amplifier. But um, yeah, that's way louder um, all the way up. Hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more.